right, I'm gonna hit this spot full throttle. How much R&D when it's like 400,000 square foot facility? I mean, it, it's, it's massive. It's massive. massive. It's it's absolutely insane what these guys do behind the scenes that you never get to know. What you never get to know about Toro. Good morning, one and all. We're at Toro headquarters today, and we're gonna be checking out all of the latest and greatest tools, gear, equipment coming down the pipeline out of Toro headquarters. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into today's video. Good morning. Good morning. We are gonna do a quick little haul. Right good morning, here. good morning. Hey, Stan. Good, good see, morning, sir. good morning. I am good morning, friendly. sir. I am all that is dirt monkey. <laughs> good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You got your hands full. You the Toro greeter. Good morning. I good am morning. today. I am today. Good morning. I got stand right here. Good morning, Abel. Everybody. How are you, buddy? How you doing? Naylor, how you doing, my friend? Good to see ya. What's up, Stan? Morning, Spence. How you doing, my friend? Hi, Paul. My granddaughter. Oh, thank you, sir. Actually, you know what, guys? I'd like to introduce you to everybody that's going to be touring this thing today because if you want to go to their channel and get a different perspective, I think that would be huge. Hey, guys, would you guys all mind just lining up and I'll just walk by you and maybe you could just tell me your name and the name of your channel so if people want to find out more about, you know, get a different idea on this, they could. Yeah. You go first, Paul. I'm Paul Jamison with the Green Industry Podcast. Perfect. Naylor Taliaferro, Lawn Care Rookie. Awesome. So Johnny with Blaze Grass Lawn Care, Pop Smoke. Perfect. <laughs> Aaron and Jordan Lawn Tools. <laughs> Johnny Rich Farmer. Brad Bear with Copper Creek Cuts. Sean and Savannah Spencer with Spencer Lawn Care. Morning, Phil, Phil Lawn Care. Yeah. Abel Cruz with Lone Force LC. Chris Show with CNI Services. Cameron Duncan, the Lawn Care Life in Missouri. All right, you guys, go check out their channels. They're going to be covering this, but you know what? Let's get right into today's show. So I, I don't think this one is quite operational yet. Yes, of course. But let's check it out. See it? Strictly a prototype. Still a prototype, yeah. Yeah. But what a sick design. All right, so here is the global family of brands under Toro. Pope, X Mark, Lawn Boy, Irritable, Hater, Unique, Boss, Ditch Rich Substitute, Hammerhead, Radius, Ventrac, American Augers, Trencorp, Parrot, Spartan. So here's a weird thing. Toro owns all of those companies, but they don't control or manipulate how those companies individually operate. So those companies have their own individual testing facilities. They do all of their same things. Sean and I, we do this same shot every year, don't I'm, we? Sean? I didn't do it this year. I, why? Do, you gotta go do it. No, I don't respect you. I don't respect you. No, you have that. no, no. That's why we're doing this. Hey, thing. I'm not trying to catch the bird this year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I flicked Sean off last year. I'm in the middle of a walk around with the engineer, and Sean hops on the mower while I'm doing the walk around and just takes off. So sorry. And, <laughs> and I'm just standing there like this, so I'm like, whoa. Well, <laughs> it did too. I got home, I had no idea. I start editing and I just see the bird. I'm like, oh, I need to call Stan. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are out in the field. And if my camera work sucks, blame the Stony Ridge farmer. <laughs> start over, start over. Here, go. <laughs> guys, if you haven't checked out his channel, please go check him out. He's one of my best friends. He's an awesome dude all the way around. And he is going to actually be helping me film today. Yeah. And we've got Josh. From Toro. Hey how, guys, how you doing? How are you, Josh? I'm well, well. Okay, I'm so good. this is a brand new unit. Yep. Okay, so tell me about this. Why would guys want this? So this is our heavy-duty uh, commercial 21-inch uh, uh, push-behind mower. This is built like a tank, number one. So as you guys know, Toro stands behind the commercial durability, the reliability. It's been around for over 100 years. What we've done on this unit is we've taken the gas version of what you know in the field now, and yep. we've just electrified it. Okay. For lack of a better term. So this is a yep. true commercial mower. Correct. Exactly right. Because it right says commercial true. on it. Because it says commercial on it. You but got but it, we're talking so. battery. So that's a Correct. pretty damn bold claim you're making right yep. there. Exactly. So we've gone through all the testing. One of the great things about this unit is that it runs off of 
any battery that we that we have in our portfolio. This is a 10 amp hour battery. It's going to give you about 40 minutes of runtime. Cuts about half an acre. 40 minutes of runtime. How long does it take to charge? About 40 minutes as well. So. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's 40 minutes runtime. 40 minutes to recharge. So two batteries keeps it working all day long. Pretty much. Yeah. As long exactly. as you got a way to charge them up. That's correct. Right. And we have a great solution for that too. So we have either got our rapid charger that'll come with this, or if you're a landscaper looking to really build your, your portfolio out, we've got the six pod charger that's over here. That really now nice this things isn't, that way. This isn't made out of cheap plastic crap oh no no this is heavy gauge steel so this this thing is massive so how'd that feel yeah, pretty good pretty right nice. away i'm well, good to go so okay so, <laughs> sorry about that I mean, if you guys missed it i just smashed his finger right in there really really fast are you bleeding are you good i'm good to go all yeah, right sorry good. about that you're fine no oil changes no filters to worry about as well so that's really nice in the maintenance perspective too wheels heavy gauge uh, wheels as well so these are massive you can look just look at the components in between so from a from a you know residential unit to a commercial unit this is some thick stuff in here too as well so it's going to hold up well over time is we have e turf master so this is our 30 inch electrified solution uh, what's nice about this you have to We've got three batteries in here. It gives you about 80 minutes of runtime. So here's our here's our uh, control panel right yep. here. So yeah. So here you've got an auto setting. So this basically will just uh, adjust to the to the grass conditions, uh, and it really uh, makes the battery last longer. That's the point of this. So if you've got a higher grass, tall, shorter grass, the motor will back off or push more, push harder if you need it. So it's really trying to optimize the battery life. Mind if I flip it over? Go ahead, let's do it. So, yep. Oh my God, it's built like a tank. Yes, it is. Dual blades. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, self-propelled, I'm hoping. Correct, it okay, is self-propelled. Okay, because this thing yep. is yep. built like a tank. It looks right. like we've got a heavy duty motor in the back. Correct. Uh, run time, recharge time. So run time is uh, 80 minutes on this bad boy and charge time is about an hour. Run. How many right. batteries come with the unit? Three 10 amp hour batteries come standard with the unit. And again, you can change those out as you want to interchangeable. All right, let's go check out the next cool thing, you guys. All right, guys, it's windy, but hopefully uh, the microphone will come in good. I'm with Jared, how are you, buddy? Great, Stan, how are you? Okay, let's, I'm doing excellent. Uh, Toro's got some brand new stuff. One of them has been in the works for a while now, right? And yes. been and it's high demand. And we're gonna show it in just a minute, but we're gonna work our way up to this bad boy. Two more we're gonna go through before we get to the one that I've been drooling over. Uh, okay, so this is a Toro grandstand, right? Yep. And this is the unit that I started my business with. I started my lawn care business with two Toro grandstands. What has changed on the Toro grandstand at this point? Okay, so we've got the grandstand dialed in very well at this point. So honestly, we don't want to make many adjustments. What we want to do is bring more benefits to the operators though. So what we have on this one is we're adding in an FX1000. So that's a 35 horsepower Kawasaki. We're adding it in in a 52 and 60 inch model. So higher horsepower is essentially what you see here on the regular grandstand platform. So you got all of the tried and true benefits of the existing grandstand, if you guys are familiar with that, with one major change, 50 some percent more horsepower. Yes. Boom, and this one is prototype. You guys are seeing it here first. Now we now we got a gator, right? A little yeah, gate we, unit. We go, yeah, we go from, we go from higher horsepower down to just a smaller unit. So when you think about needing to get in a backyard area through a gate, 32 inch, 36 inch gate, this is the new option. You know, it's just, a, it's a nice, compact, well-built machine. Is this the first offering of a machine this size, Jared, from Toro? From, uh, from Toro, yes. I mean, other brands, other brands have them out there, but we have not previously. When is this coming out? So this one will be available for next spring. And engine options are gonna be what? Uh, Kawasaki, 19 horsepower. It's the FS600B. Okay, so Kawasaki, 9, and then size options are going to be what? Uh, 32 and 36, and we'll also be keeping our standard 36 with the flip-up platform. This is called a Stanley the Dirt Monkey. This guy is one of my best buds ever, uh, and we're going to have fun at the lake house later, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> All right, guys, 
This is the one I personally have been waiting for. Marketing. So I talk to guys like you. Okay. I figure out what we need to make, and then I work with our design team to get it built. Okay, so this is what you came up with after you worked with guys like me. Yeah. Tell me about this unit. This is the Grandstand HDX. Yes, Grandstand HDX. So this is your high horsepower, large frame, big tires. It's the Grandstand on steroids, ah. right? So when you look at the, at the frame differences and some changes that you'll see here, number one, we have the I-beam front end, right? So you got a big, heavy front end. I mean, you can take on anything with that. It also adds a little weight to the front end. Now, the other thing that stands out is we have an option with a 72 inch deck on this. Mm. What's the so, other deck option, 60? 60 and 52. Oh, okay. Um, on top of that, you have different engine options. Okay. So we've got high horsepower Kawasaki carbureted engines. We've also got the Vanguard 37 horsepower with oil guard. So extending your oil change to 500 hour intervals. The other thing you get out here is with a much bigger frame, you also get a bigger front hood here. So easy access down to the belts. You want to clean things out, change a battery. Nice and simple. You want to put a bucket on it, strap in a, a blower, strap in a 55 gallon drum, whatever you want. There's a lot of space there. So bigger tires, 24 inch tires, 24 inch tires. So that's going to give you better hill stability. But let's say you get on a steep hill and you don't want to ride that. Is the operator presence in the platform or is it in the hand grip so that you could flip the platform up and walk behind it? So the operator presence is built into the handles. So yeah, you get that or a lot of times, you know, you get low hanging trees. Do you want to ride it like this or do you want to just flip this up and walk behind it? You know, so this also helps with getting it on a trailer because and, that pulls yep. in the, shortens the length of the yep, machine. Yep, yep, flip that deck up and now you can hug them in tight and you can get more mowers on less trailer. Absolutely, you want to look good while you're doing it too. I mean, I can well, tell you, you're very stylish. We, we, we talked about, yep. <laughs> Snarky. <laughs> <laughs> this well, is where things headed south. <laughs> but we, well, we actually talked about it, mowing is fun. And you know yeah. what? And there's some pride in mowing, right? I mean, because guys would not watch so have so many views on cutting, making tall grass short videos if it wasn't fun and satisfying. Right. So a guy wants to enjoy it. He wants a nice looking Harley. He wants a nice looking mower. That's that's the way it looks. So I mean, I'm, let's just be straight with you. Yeah. So the, the you know Turbo Force deck. This these decks have been around for I want to say over 15 years. So we have literally millions upon millions of hours of real world cut time on these so little things like that good deck but then on top of that you know laser laser etched blade on the front of it we also added in this nice little bit of character some bullhorns on the on the on the chute um you know so we try to do little things to it's a solid machine but we also wanted it to look good so we tried to add little things like that in too. You know, grandstand HDX on the front end. Okay, so but let's talk about some things that maybe would affect a guy's pocketbook, okay? I see a button. And what I want to know is, what's the point of this button? What does this do? What's the benefit of this button right here? Because it says it has a turtle, it has a lead for eco mode, and then it's got a rabbit. What does that do? So where's your throttle on? gone it's it's replaced with this so rather than having a manual throttle with this electronic throttle control gives you these three settings where if you're just transporting or maybe you just want to idle you put it in the in, in the turtle mode okay All right so that's you know that's your low throttle then your rabbit obviously full throttle you ramped up the whole time now eco mode what that does is that allows your engine to adjust to the conditions that the mower is going through. So if you want to save gas, roughly 10 to 15%, use eco mode, and you can still get that horsepower when you need it, but you also don't have to have it there when you don't. Okay. So if you have it on eco, that's gonna save you 10 to 15%. So it's up to yeah. you guys. Jared works with the engineers. He develops these things based on your input. Your input, right? I mean, that's- Absolutely. And you guys, you actually read the comments and you look, because in the meeting that we were just at, you said that's where you guys learn a lot is when you guys start talking real world experience, no filters, you lay it on the line, good, the bad, the in-between, you just 
vomit out the information yep. and you guys can decipher it and create the next best thing for you guys. So without you speaking up, you're gonna get whatever crap you get, right? So you gotta use your voice to make sure you get the best stuff you, that you can possibly get. Speak up, don't let someone else speak for you. That's what I'm getting at. Yep, so we, we do a ton of customer sessions, customer feedback. We've got a sales team, we've got our, our dealer partners. We're getting feedback from all of them. But if you think about it, when you know when you do a video and then you guys post comments, that's there's so much feedback in that one little area. Yes. So absolutely, we go through those, we read them, we take it into consideration. So, you know, a little more style to it. Talked about styling matters. So that's that's something. Additional. There was one more brand, and I can't remember who it was. They had a cutout right here. Yeah. We, we called that the ball holder. Yeah, no ball holder on this one. <laughs> no ball holder on this one. <laughs> so, oh, one other thing is, you know, I mentioned this a minute ago, uh, Stanley, when we were off camera, but so you got a 72-inch deck. Mm -hmm. It's heavy. Yes. Okay, so let's see you, let's see you unheavy this thing. See, I, I'm not that strong. So this is... <laughs> hey, could you hold this camera for me, Afton? I want to see how strong Jared actually is. I okay. don't know about that. I'm standing on the deck. Go for it. Oh, you put on a lot of weight. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Toro's testing facility is one of the premier testing facilities I've ever seen in my life. And, uh, and all, of the t all of the different companies I've ever been to. Torture testing, heat testing, cold testing, slope testing. But they won't let us film any of it. Do you guys want to see behind the scenes? Put that in the comments down below. Show me what you got. So you should take me behind the scenes. But I was like, I didn't realize how much R&D went. It's like 400,000 square foot facility. I it, mean, it, it's massive. It's absolutely. massive. It's, it's absolutely insane what these guys do behind the scenes that you never get to know. That should be the title of the video, what you never get to know about Toro. All right, guys, I am with Angela, right? Yes. Angela, okay. Actually, Toro has something called Horizon 360. And this is something that's been out for three years now, but I had no clue even existed. <laughs> so can you, in, a, in one minute, kind of tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, it's a comprehensive business management system. So everything to do your scheduling, routing, invoicing, dispatching, estimating, all that kind of good stuff, including tracking of your crews and your assets, all within one nice platform. So it's a business management software system. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, my, my main focus really is snow. That's really right. what we do a lot of. Yep. I need a software system to avoid liability, slip and falls, things like that. Whenever my crew gets to a site, mm -hmm. I need the ability to tell the start time of that job site, yep. the stop time of that job site. I also need to be able to prove that we were there, potentially some routing, GPS tracking to show exactly. that we actually plowed that. Yep. Material management that we put the salt down because when if I ever get sued for a slip and fall, which is super common yep. in the work that we do, if I have those records, I walk out without a, uh, a lawsuit. Right. Is that something that this software system will do for me? Yes, all of that is fully integrated. So you can either manually track the time spent or automatically with some GPS tracking devices, it's gonna automatically track the time spent on the job, time spent working, materials you can add in there, have it automatically sent out to the customer, make sure your guys are taking proof of service photos, all of that good stuff to make sure that you don't have any of that liability on you. Why did you guys do this? Because you are an equipment company. What's we the, are. Why would you start to go into the software industry? Yeah, I mean, the more that we've been talking to our contractors, the equipment is at the bottom of their worries. Their worries is, am I gonna get my jobs done? Am I gonna get billed for them? Am I gonna get paid? Like, those are the things. So we're trying to make sure we have uh, a comprehensive solution that just allows you guys to have everything all within one system and actually worry about the stuff that you need to worry about and not have to worry about your equipment. Is it free? It is free for fleet members. Otherwise, we have free, um, free trials at minimum six month free trials for you. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Heck yeah, thank All right. you. And it's called? Horizon 360. All right. All right, on to the next one, you guys. All right, guys, uh, I'm with Derek, and you do what for these guys? Injury manager for the residential riders and stone thrower products. Okay, so we're going to look at four new residential riders coming out right now, right? Yep. Okay, so what are we looking at first and foremost? We got the all new Time Cutter Max that we're looking at. That's the first two units. And then we'll be looking at the new Titan machine. So what did you guys change that guys that may be familiar with previous editions of this, what's the upgrades? Yep, so from the current time cutter to the time cutter max, we went to a wider, fully tubular, fully welded frame. Um, 
increased the height width of it just gave it a bigger cockpit overall uh, removable floor pan for cleaning out underneath the deck deck maintenance we've got tools belt covers on this on all the decks now pop them Easy on pop them off okay. yep we've got adjustable control handles so kind of latch them forward kind of refined to what you like we've got custom 20 inch rear tires custom tread so this is custom to you guys you custom guys created Toro, this yep. and this is for side slope stability right yep. improved traction on side slope no yep. turf damage with this more aggressive pattern not no okay so as i look at the time cutter you've got two of them side by each here one with a 60 one with a uh, 54 inch deck is there any major differences why would you have two side by each yep so the difference between these stand is this is a 54 this is a 60. this also has our patented my ride system on it for improved will you, comfort will you hold this yep okay i will tell you guys that if you do not know my ride this is the old man's luxury ride I, the most comfortable ride of a zero turn mower i've ever had so we, blake albertson from bnb lawn care and i found the biggest holes you could find and we hit them things at the top speed and laughed. Uh, All right, what do you think? Like, yeah, relative to one that doesn't have my ride, it feels like you're hitting a little rock. Like, and you're not—we're not even in mow mode. We're in. Let's right. let's get to the next job right, site. Right, exactly. Mode. We're going full speed because. It, the machine the operator didn't feel we didn't feel it yep. ask blake albertson go to his channel and check it out you don't feel it it's amazing what else do we need to know uh new larger fuel tank five gallon tank versus a three gallon and uh kind of just more aggressive broader styling just give it a bigger look bigger machine okay and now we've got two here what are we looking at with these and what's the difference a little bigger machine, bigger hydros, bigger tires, uh, deeper deck, stronger deck. Uh, just a little bit more robust, durable machine. Still than residential. Deck. Still residential. But these are getting more into the prosumer. Prosumer, the Hawa, homeowner with acreage, yep. Homeowner with acreage yep. right here. So you're getting the, you know, the standard floor mat. You're getting a, still got the removable floor pan. You're getting the treaded front casters. A little bit beefier caster fork, um, full I beam front end taken from our LCE machines. Four and a half inch deep deck, fully welded bull nose deck reinforcement. Again, the tooless belt covers uh, retains a lot of the same features as the the time cutter. You know the adjustable handles, the five gallon tank. A little bit different engine offering. What do we got for engine offerings? We got yeah. options or what? Yeah, we got options. We got a plethora of Kohlers, Cowies, little Briggs. Okay. Uh, custom tires. Custom tires again, a little bit different than the time tire, but 22 11 10 custom tread. Bump up to the, the Charge 2800 drives, rubber deflector. A little bit uh, broader offering on your height of cut every quarter inch. We also have a standard transport lock. Yep, yep. All right, well, that's it for you, right? That's it. All right. Thanks, Dan. The, who's the next guy I got to talk to? Jeff or John? Jeff or John. You guys ready, buddy? Get the Cheetos off your fingers. <laughs> All right, guys. I am with Jeff. Come on in, Jeff. Okay, so we've got, what are these? To consumer level, homeowner no. level, commercial level? What right. are we looking at? Both these are commercial landscape contractor uh, machines okay and are they they new or why are yep, they out here absolutely so happy to explain that the the Seamaster 2000 here is brand new this year um, it's a the chassis is new from the ground up it's it's bigger wider it's got more of a stance just like the um, commercial brothers have it's got a stance that's more like the Seamaster 4000 and like the Z Master uh, five and six thousand. So we've got a Z Master. Let's be clear. This is a Z Master two thousand. Yep. And this is a Z Master yep. four thousand. Absolutely. What's the main differences between these two units? Well, the transmissions between the two are different. This has a Hydra Gear thirty four hundred on it, and these 
have Hydro Gear 54 and 4400s. This has a slightly larger fuel tank compared to this one. The engine offerings on the 4000 go up to a higher horsepower. This one expands lower. Um, I, I'm noticing a big difference in the frame and the chassis when I look at this one and I look at this I beam yep. frame on the front yep. here. The the I beam is is made, they're made out of the same materials. This one has a really large stance primarily because it's got the 72. We focus a lot of, on the quality of cut and where the front casters are positioned is critical for the quality of cut and that's why on a 72 on the Toro equipment you'll always see that our caster spacing is set so for a great quality of cut each time. So this one goes from a 48 all the way up to a 72 is what they How want. about toolless? Can we get at the pulleys or do we need a bunch of tools to get no, at the pulleys? Absolutely. So that's pretty yep. fast, pretty yep. easy. Yep, and we, we've had this feature since 2009. You can mm -hmm. drive a truck over those covers. They won't break, they don't come off when you're trailering them. They're, it's, an, it's an awesome feature. And my ride, is that available on all the deck sizes when you get into Absolutely. this side of Lemoore? We're super pumped always to offer our my ride on everything from that landscape contractor line on down. You're suspended all the way from your seat all the way to the feet, giving you on this three to three and a half inches of vertical travel each time. Right. Okay, so last question for you. Are these actually, the new changes, are they out? When are they coming out? Yep, so you can find um, this one's on the showroom floor today. We have a we have a 72 that with 5400s already on the showroom floor, and this particular model is of 72 with my ride will be available in October. All right, thank you, sir. You're the best. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's everything new by Toro. We've covered everything from little tiny tools up to big tools. You guys, let me know. I asked you quite a few questions in this video, so I want to hear from you. And here's the deal: one of the things that we don't get to film behind the scenes is that we have, you know panel sessions with the Toro engineers. And one of the things we learned is they look for your feedback. So please put your feedback in the comments down below. What do you wanna see? Do you wanna see more power, wider stance, better price points, better warranty, more battery powered equipment, less battery powered equipment. What do you guys wanna see? Put it in the comments and let the Toro engineers know. But that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoy the ride. I enjoy making these videos for you. So uh, that's it, Josh and I, the Stony Ridge Farmer. We're gonna head north now. We're gonna go enjoy a weekend. I hope you guys have some place that you can go and enjoy. God bless. Go get them, you guys. Enjoy the ride, my friends.